I'm Dr. Gerald Chodak. Many men with prostate cancer have been waiting to see the results of further analysis of an ongoing trial using the immune stimulating drug called Provenge made by Dendrion Corporation. There certainly has been considerable disappointment in the past that the clinical studies that had been done to date did not result in an approval by the FDA. But at our meeting in Chicago, the results of a new phase three trial were presented and they showed a statistically significant improvement in survival by about 4.1 months. This is similar to the study results shown in the earlier studies that were conducted using this product. How does it work? It works by taking a patient's, a man's blood and doing what's called leukophoresis, separating off the white cells and then mixing them with something that is recognized on the surface of a prostate cancer cell. That incubation allows a priming of the blood cells or enhancement of the immune stimulating cells from a patient. After this mixture has been processed and the cells have been beefed up, then they're infused back into the patient where they have the opportunity to enhance a patient's ability to develop an immune response against these prostate cancer cells. So the side effects were pretty small. Patients complained of fever and chills as the most common side effect, but not severe enough to result in any significant problems. The treatment requires three infusions over the course of one month. After that, a patient is simply followed. Now it's interesting that this drug does not have a big impact on PSA. So following a course of disease may require something more than just looking at the PSA test. The other thing is the study did not stop the disease from showing up in different places. It did not have other evidence of a change other than a drop in the death rate. And it's that drop in the death rate that is likely to result in its probably getting approved by the FDA either at the end of this year or sometime in the beginning of 2010. This is beneficial for patients because it gives us another option to offer them as they're becoming hormone refractory. What's good about this potential treatment is that we can take men who have relatively minor or minimal side effects from their disease and give them this drug without making them very sick. And so we can see how much benefit we're going to obtain without significantly compromising their quality of life. The other thing is if you get all the treatments just in three weeks or four weeks and then you can get followed over a period of time, it means that patient won't need as much uh, involvement with their doctor as long as they're remaining clinically stable. So it would appear that there's a, a significant advance in the field of cancer treatments and the first of its kind using something that stimulates the immune system. We will all anxiously await to see if the FDA delivers its approval. Thank you.